Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Gas Mask Guys. And today with me, uh, we're going to do some Malaysian snacks. Now, I went down to my local Aldi and I found some snacks here. So, as you see, they're both made by Bika and they're from Malaysia. They're pretty cool. Pretty awesome. There go. The first one I'm going to try, I think, is going to be the corn snacks. Now, when I think of corn snacks, I imagine it'll taste a bit like Cheetos. It looks like Cheetos. I don't know if you can really see. Um, the lighting's pretty bad today. Here, let me let me turn on the standby. Much better. Okay, we got some light now. So as you can see here, product of Malaysia. There's all the uh, details, history, and translation and stuff. So I'm gonna try this one first. So, okay. so how are you guys? Yeah. Sorry I haven't done that many videos, um, I've been editing quite a bit, been working on some pretty high-end videos, so yeah. There you go, that's what it looks like, looks like a big cheetah, so I'll try it. It almost tastes like a cheetah, let me try another one. So, okay. Here's what they taste like. So, imagine if there was a Cheeto that was a bit cheesy but a bit sweet. That's what this tastes like. It tastes like a sweet Cheeto. A bit weird how that works. Yeah, I'm gonna have one more. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it tastes like a really sweet Cheeto. Really good. Okay. Next up, we have the potato strips, which should be good. So, let's give it a shot. Let's dig right into it. There go. Hey, they look just like they look like French fries. That's cool. That comes to the show. So I'm thinking that these are going to taste just like um, French fry chips, which I've seen at stores. So. Exactly. It tastes just like it. A bit less salty though. Mm. Yeah. If I hadn't said before, the reason why I'm wearing the S10 is because Malaysia uses the S10 for their military and their police forces, so I thought it'd be quite appropriate, as this is the closest thing I own to a Malaysian gas mask. As you can see, I'm wearing my Australian issue gas mask. As you can see, it's got the mesh back strap and it's got the, uh, the different drinking straw. It's pretty cool. Good mask. As you see, I'm not wearing my filter for obvious reasons. I don't, I don't want to breathe an expired filter. But yeah. A um, little update for you guys on the gas mask, guys. Currently, We've been filming. We've been working pretty hard on some new videos, some higher end videos, because I've noticed I've done some pretty crappy ones earlier. But we're getting there, and I've just been busy with it so far. I apologize for not uploading them yet. I just haven't gotten around to it. At the current moment, we're just uploading information uh, videos and easy stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully, um, as soon as we can, we'll get those uploaded. You'll be able to see it. And you'll understand why I've taken some extra time to make sure they uh, they look all right. So yeah, um, another thing for the gas mask guys is uh, we just got involved in production. Now there was a production down in Tasmania. Um, hold on, let me grab the brush here. So Hamley Productions, as you can see here, we got involved in this show here. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the photos later. So basically, um, here's all the characters and stuff. We got involved in this play. Uh, they needed some gas masks, so we gave them a supply. Uh, we gave them two Russian tanker gas masks, the MM1. That was pretty cool, and uh, yeah, I'll have to show you some pictures sometime. But until then, until next time, I, I have to thank you guys for watching. It's been amazing <laughs> doing these crazy videos. But hey, thank you guys. I uh, hope you all enjoy your day, and I'll see you whenever I see you. Peace.